I'm part of a community uh, company that's just established a wood pellet factory. We had to raise $3 million to build our, our wood pellet plant. The good news is we have succeeded in raising the money and the plant is now in operation, providing 14 jobs in my community where those jobs are very badly needed. And it's um, going to be a market for people like uh, me, family forest owners, who used to sell to the pulp mills, but the pulp mills are now gone. So we have created a new market for ourselves, jobs in our community, and we'll, we'll be supplying wood pellets to the nearby city so people can stop being reliant on imported oil to heat their homes and can buy their heat from a local source that is renewable, that is green, that is very long-term, sustainable, forever. And uh, that's the kind of investment I'm talking about. We had huge, huge difficulty getting uh, bank financing enormous difficulty and that was before the crisis last year if we were to try to get bank financing to complement the money we were able to raise directly as investors today we would have zero chance of raising that additional financing and the reason is um, the banks simply do not understand the kind of opportunity that a project like ours represents uh, there is nothing we would say, this is an argument, and we need this dialogue with the banks, but we would say there is nothing more secure that you could possibly invest in than a, a project that is going to be using very local supply of raw material, local labor, pr uh, producing a product that is a basic need for a local market. How do you shift this mindset? Well, that's why we're here, to try and uh, establish dialogue, and uh, actually we're quite pleased with the success that uh, we're seeing so far.